want you
This is the end of our year together. The hard work is paid off, but the hard work is not over. There's a saying that goes, the finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. And from here, it's nothing but up. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. We are here, we've made it. The finish line is just the beginning of a whole new race. Together, we can move mountains. And from here, it's nothing but up. Continue to be hungry, continue to have drive, and do not question your journey. We are here, we've made it. Now, to the moment you've all been waiting for. And from here, it's nothing but up. Welcome, graduates, family, and friends. My name is Jordan Silva, and I'm a part of Europe's graduating winter class of 2023. And I'm very thankful to have this opportunity to kick off this morning's graduation. Since its founding in 2000, Europe opened over 30 campuses across the country and served more than 30,000 young adults, including our graduating class, whose accomplishments we're celebrating today. My fellow graduates and I spent months learning essential skills and completing technical coursework in help desk and desktop, client services and sales, and project management. Finally, we had the opportunity to spend six months in an internship with leading employers such as Citizens, Amica, Asbro, IGT, Lifespan, and more. Today, you will have the opportunity to hear from graduates and staff that are a part of Europe Rhode Island's learning communities. Winter class of 2023 is made up of two learning communities, which is Learning Community Blue and Learning Community Yellow. A learning community is a group of students and staff, which is a key support structure that contributes to our successful program model here at Europe. The major benefit of splitting us into separate learning communities is the extra time instructors can divide amongst us, as well as the increased opportunity for participation. I also hope that each graduate finds a second to congratulate themselves for sticking with this opportunity. There may have been many hardships that each of us faced, but I want everyone to be proud of themselves, not only for advancing your education, but for taking the time to invest in yourself. Today is an exciting yet emotional day. Today is not only a day to celebrate, but a day to remember. We will continue to remember our value as we reflect on the effort we put forward in this last year. We will remember each instructor and staff member for encouraging our success. We will remember the times we needed help and the times that we were there to help. Most importantly, I hope we remember the mission we all shared together. Everyone's story is slightly different, but we all shared the same mission, looking for access to economic opportunity, education, and justice for all young adults, no matter our background, our income, or our zip code. That's exactly what Europe did for us. Thank you very much for your time, and I would now like to pass it over to David. Good morning, Europe family, and thank you very much for joining us on this very special occasion. My name is David Guzman, and I am the site director of Europe Rhode Island. Class 35, you did it. Congratulations on this major milestone in your career. Please enjoy this moment and take this time to reflect and put into perspective all that you accomplished this year. You are now joining our alumni network that is 1,500 strong and are preparing for the next step in your professional journey. When I think of Class 35, I think of the following. I think of flexibility, adaptability, consistency, dedication, grit, and community. You were flexible with us as we were developing our hybrid space and adapted quickly to the requirements of your internship. You consistently showed up and challenged and put yourself to accomplish your goals and the process you were able to build community. The relationships that you created with one another could be the start of a lifetime of friendship and support. You're graduating today, but rest assured there's a new beginning for a new chapter in your life. I encourage you to use the tools that you learn and developed here. Make good use of the feedback that you're provided and never forget that you have a strong Europe community behind you that will forever be invested in you. 
This is a community of strength that includes our year of staff, your wonderful internship supervisors, and our amazing partners that make our great program a reality. Speaking of our year of staff, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to you all for the endless support, guidance, and wisdom that you provided to Class 35. I consider myself privileged to serve side by side with you every day. One of the great joys of being part of Year Up staff is earning your trust and seeing you all flourish and develop. Never stop believing in yourselves because we will always believe in you. Thank you for choosing us and trusting our wonderful staff to help you begin your ascension and the ladder of success. Thank you very much and again a much deserved congratulations. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our magnificent keynote speaker, Class 35's very own, Carolyn De Los Santos. What does it mean to be successful? Success, one simple word with a not so simple connotation. According to Google, Success can be defined as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. For me, it's meaning very so much that it might be impossible to come up with only one scenario that showcases what it means. All of us have our own story, our own reason, our own purpose. What we have in common is that all of us join Year Up with one ultimate goal, to be successful. For some of us, that means getting a higher paying job. For some of us, that means attaining a degree. And for some of us, that simply means converting into our internship. Coming from a Hispanic immigrant household, their definition of success is very black and white. Go to college, graduate, obtain a degree. With that mindset being all that was instilled in me growing up, I certainly felt like a failure when I decided to put my education on hold and drop out of college. For about seven months, I decided to go to work, all the time thinking about what was going to be my next move. What am I going to do? Where am I going to end up? How do I show them that I made the right decision for myself? I remember starting my application on February 1st 2022 and being so unsure of what to do with my life that I kept second guessing my decisions. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was Tuesday, February 22nd. I was lying on my bed with my phone in my hands. Have you ever felt that pressing matter in the back of your head but can't quite put your finger on what it is that is so urgent? That was me. Something told me to open my notes app and I did. Immediately, year of deadline, February 22nd, stood out to me. Long story short, in true Harlan fashion, I ended up submitting my application two hours before the deadline. The rest is history. I remember all of the emotions I felt when I first went in person, meeting all of you for the first time. Me, in a room full of strangers, my heart thumping, the anxiety level rising. As I reminisce, the process is a blur, but somehow anxiousness turned into comfortability, uneasiness turned into security, shyness turned into extroversion, and most importantly, strangers turned into friends. Looking back, I can't help but to smile. I love getting to know every single one of you. I love the discussions, the laughs, the helping each other out. In year up, I found the community I was searching for in college. This program taught me a lesson, and that's something I hope you can all take away from this speech. It's okay to go at your own pace. It's okay to pave your own way in your own path to success. It's okay to take that black and white definition of success and color it in a little, even if we do it outside of the line sometimes. Elsie Green, I am so proud of us. I love getting to know all of you during this past couple of months. And I want you to remember that graduation is just the beginning. 
and I cannot wait to see everything you accomplish. I wish you all nothing but success. My name is Uche, Program Manager for Europe Rhode Island. I am so excited to present the first set of student awards. At every Europe Rhode Island graduation, we come together to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments of our young adults who displayed the motivation and the perseverance needed to complete this program and prepare for their next career stage. And at each graduation, we also have the privilege to honor certain students who went above and beyond in their Europe journey, making a significant impact on their fellow students and staff in their learning communities. Our first two awards honor Chris Mello and Dave Reddick, two early members of the Europe community who lost their lives in the attacks of September 11th. One student is selected from each of our learning communities to receive these awards. First, Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the Chris Mello Award for Leadership, Victoria Cortez and Jordan Silva. Next, it is my honor to announce the recipients of the Dave Reddick Award for Excellence, Antronik Antronik and Leslie Curiel Sosa. Congratulations. And now I'd like to pass things over to my colleague, Brian Dominguez. Thank you, Uche. Hi, everyone. My name is Brian Dominguez. I'm a program manager for Europe Rhode Island. I will present our next set of student awards, the Core Values Award. Given to one member of each learning community who truly embodies Europe's core values, respect and value others, build trust, and be honest, engage and embrace diversity, be accountable, strive to learn, and work hard and have fun. Through their everyday actions, these graduates embody all of this and more. Congratulations to the Winter 2023 recipients of the Year Up Core Values Award, Brian Rose and Shaylee Mota. Next, I am proud to announce the recipients of the Year Up Perseverance Award, given to a student in each learning community who, with tenacity, grit, and heart, have seized opportunity in the face of challenges and adversity. Their persistence is a positive example to the rest of the learning community showing that with hard work and determination, we can get through even the toughest of times. Please join me in honoring Larry Cooper and Titus Ojo. Congratulations to all Winter 2023 award recipients. I'm pleased to present this award in my husband's honor, Brian Goldner, the former CEO of Hasbro. Brian Goldner was an extraordinary businessman, visionary, and philanthropist. At Year Up, he is remembered most for his unwavering belief in opportunity talent and his commitment to providing access to education and quality jobs for young adults. He was a dedicated supporter of Year Up and a true believer in their mission. The Brian Goldner Alumni Community Impact Award recognizes an outstanding year up Rhode Island alumni who exemplifies the following qualities that we, Brian's loved ones, most appreciated about him. His unwavering positivity, steadfast ambition for setting and achieving goals and thoughtful care for others. I am honored to present the Brian Goldner Award to Clarence Early, who has not only achieved professional success, but has also demonstrated a commitment to his community and embodies the Year Up alumni mantra, lift as you climb. Clarence was born and raised in Liberia, moved to Rhode Island in 2009. He graduated from Year Up Rhode Island in January of 2016 and was hired at CME where he stayed for more than five years and was promoted to the lead IT support technician. He relocated to California where he continued his IT career, but he always kept one goal in mind, use the skills and knowledge he acquired at Year Up to help people in Africa. In January of 2020, he launched Africa Wave, an online marketplace with the goal to empower and uplift those in Africa by creating career opportunities 
Clarence is now the CEO of the company and has ambitious plans to grow so that he can generate wealth for the families and communities in Africa while meeting the demands for the African products here in the United States. To honor Clarence's achievements, Hasbro will make a $5,000 donation to the charity of his choice. Congratulations, Clarence, and thank you for lifting while you climb. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nate Koshuba, and I'm the Associate Director of Programs here at Year Up Rhode Island. As I read the graduates' names this morning, would you please join me in congratulating the graduating class of January 2023? Anthony Aguiar, Information Technology, Fidelity. Antronic Antronic, Business Operations, Hasbro. Marco Aravallo, Information Technology, Fidelity. Cody Baer, Information Technology, Citizen. Jordan Baig, Information Technology, Amica Mutual Insurance Company. Adriana beltran Jerome, Business Operations, Citizen. Ellie Alexia Canido, Information Technology, Citizen. Ariana Cardona, Information Technology, Citizen. Johnny Centrone, Business Operations, Bank of America. Larry Cooper Jr., Information Technology, Brown University. Victoria Cortez, Information Technology, Fidelity. Amos Cosme, Business Operations, Citizens. Rainier Cruz, Business Operations, Bank of America. Leslie Curiel Sosa, Information Technology, Fidelity. Caroline De Los Santos, Information Technology, Fidelity. Gabriela Feliciano, Business Operations, Citizens. Ben Fofana, Information Technology, Nautic Partners. Matt Gill, Information Technology, Citizen. Dominic Gracia, Business Operations, Fidelity. Brianna Keeney, Information Technology, Hasbro. Chancellor Kuth, Business Operations, Citizen. Ubelkis Leonardo, Business Operations, Citizen. Sergio Lorenzo, Information Technology, Citizen. Raulio Lopez, Information Technology, Amica Mutual Insurance Company. Heather Lewis, Business Operations, Providence Equity Partners. Shaylee Moda, Business Operations, Fidelity. Kevin Negron, Business Operations, Bank of America. Titus Ojo, Business Operations, Citizen. Wilson Ovales, Information Technology, CVS Health. Neil Pierre, Business Operations, Bank of America. Jalen Pujols, Business Operations, Citizens. Scotty Reyes, Business Operations, Bank of America. Adrian Reynoso, Information Technology, Fidelity. Brian Rodriguez, Information Technology, Lifespan. Gabriela Rodriguez, Business Operations, Citizens. Brian Rose, Information Technology, Lifespan. Jabeth Rubio, Business Operations, Citizens. Tarsavon Sangasi, Information Technology, Fidelity. Milmiro Segredo, Information Technology, Care New England. Jordan Silva, Business Operations, Citizen. Marlon Tiburcio, Information Technology, CBS Health. Maratu Tolo, Information Technology, Citizen. Luz Torres, Business Operations, Bank of America. Kristen Wallace, Business Operations, Citizen. Hello year of graduates, family and friends, my name is Yuseli Rivas. First, 
I want to congratulate all of the graduates on achieving this incredible milestone. One of the greatest things about today is that you complete this journey as students and start the next one as alumni. Year Up has over 24,000 alumni across the country with the power to shape the future. Together, we can move mountains, but it requires each of us commit to lift as we climb. The alumni oath is our vow to do just that. By reciting this oath, you officially join the National Alumni Association, a network of leaders who are advancing in their careers and education, contributing to the success of Europe's mission, and taking action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. Please join me and your fellow alumni in making that commitment by saying the oath now. I pledge that as a member of the Year of National Alumni Association, I will continue to uphold and promote Year Up's mission and core values. I will strive for excellence and realize my potential. I will use my time and my talent to contribute to the success of Year Up its students and its alumni. I will take action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. I take this oath freely as a promise to live while I climb and to be a lifelong ambassador of Europe. Hello, I'm Janice Lindsay, and I'm the National Director of Alumni Relations at Year Up. On behalf of all of us at Year Up, and the alumni relations team, I'd like to welcome you to the National Alumni Association. Everything you've done along your Europe journey has been in preparation for the day you become alumni. And now you're entering the third and longest phase of the program. As students and interns, you proved that you were epic. And now that you are graduates, it's time for you to act. The alumni relations team and all of Year Up will be here to support you as you advance in your career and higher education, contribute to the success of Year Up, and take action in the opportunity movement. And UPRO will be here to support you as the primary job placement agency for Year Up graduates. To learn more about resources, services, and support available to alumni, please visit yearupalumni.org. Today, as you graduate, you join more than 23,000 alumni across the country, and you, we hope that you will remain engaged members of the alumni community. Most importantly, we hope that you will continue to lift while you climb. Congratulations, and welcome to the National Alumni Association. Congratulations once again, graduating winter class of 2022. As graduation comes to a close, I would like to thank our Europe corporate sponsors, Europe instructors, and staff for contributing to our success. Everything we completed on our Europe journey has been preparing us to finally become Europe alumni. As we complete this chapter, we aren't only becoming an addition to 30,000 other Europe alumni, but we are also contributing to yet another Europe success story. Today marks a very special day for each graduate. Today marks the end of your Europe journey and the beginning of our professional adventure. I can't wait to see what is in store for our futures as we cross this finish line together. What I do know is, we have no set path, and possibilities really are endless. Keeping in mind all the essential skills we adapted and the education acquired over this last year, I have the confidence that each of us will become 
the successful, financially independent young adults we wish to become. To conclude, I would like to leave you a moment to glorify your hard work and to celebrate your achievements. It's been a real pleasure working with each and every one of you, and I want to thank Europe one final time for working with us to close the opportunity divide, as well as teaching us to lift as we climb. Congratulations, Winter Class of 2022. We are officially graduates, and we couldn't have done it without each other. Thank you.